Hello, today I'll be explaining Casa paintings. Casa paintings is a series of paintings that began in late 18th century in Spain. These types of paintings show the racial diversity that Spain was experiencing at the time. As stated in the book, Casa paintings are commissioned in Spanish America. By the 1760s, the Spanish had been in control of present-day Mexico for over 200 years. The colony of New Spain became a blend of indigenous people and Spaniards. In addition, Africans were brought to the New World as slaves, and more and more crossings of bloodlines occurred among the Spaniards, Amerindians, and Black Africans, which the Spanish considered to be the three original races. The resulting mix compelled the Spanish to develop the casta system, a social caste system based on race with four distinct lineages. In short, casta paintings show the racial diversity that New Spain was experiencing. To understand the genre of art, we'll be viewing the following three paintings. Casta painting with the Virgin of Guadalupe, painted by Luis de Mena, from Spaniard and Indian, Mestiza, and from Spaniard and Mestiza, Castiza, both painted by Miguel Rivera. So the first painting that we'll be viewing today is Casa Painting with Virgin of Guadalupe, painted by Luis de Mena in 1750. This painting depicts New Spain. As stated in the article, Guadalupe and the Castas, a mid-18th century Casa Painting by Luis de Mena uniquely unites the image of the Virgin of Guadalupe and Casa mixed race groupings, along with scenes of everyday life in Mexico and the natural abundance of New Spain. Different aspects of New Spain are shown in the paintings, such as the diverse citizens, the landscape in the background, native products on the bottom of the art piece, as well as the Virgin of Guadalupe at the very top center of the piece. All these characteristics sum up New Spain. Casas were referred to in different categories, such as Mestizo, which is Spanish and Indian parents, Mulato, which is Spanish and Black parents, and Zambo, which is Black and Indian parents. In this particular painting, there are eight different families being depicted, each belonging to some of the cast casas mentioned before. Luis de Mena perfectly shows what casa paintings are. The diversity shown in, this in his painting is very apparent and with the added aspects of the landscape, the Virgin of Guadalupe, and the products that were sold summarize New Spain. The diversity is beautifully shown with the eight different sections and gives a unique perspective as to how the genre of art was portrayed. Unlike the other paintings I will be viewing, this piece doesn't focus solely on one family but rather a group. This gives a good overview and visual as to how racially diverse Spain was and what it it was they were experiencing at the time. Okay, so the next painting that we'll be viewing today is from Spaniard and Indian Mestiza painted by Miguel Cabrera. The iconography shown in the painting shows a young girl with both of her parents. The father is of course Spaniard and we know this because of his attire as well as his skin color. The mother is Indian and we know this because of her skin color as well as her indigenous wardrobe. The posture of the young girl is interesting to note in this painting. She clearly resembles her mother, however, as stated in the book Art and Architecture in Mexico, the girl seems torn between her parents, who pull her in opposite directions. Although her gender and costume associate her more with her mother, she looks ruefully at her father. This possibly symbolizes how her identity is torn between her two parents. She takes after her mother rather than her father, and her expression appears to be shameful. This could mean that she's ashamed due to the racism she prob possibly faced. With the interracial marriages came racism towards mixed groups. They weren't considered pure, but instead mixed. This in turn led to social and economic consequences. As stated in the article painting the castes of Mexico, human societies invented the concept of race, then constructed complex hierarchies for it. Those who were pure were higher and more well off on the caste system, and those who were mixed were lower on the caste system. So the last painting that we'll be viewing today is also by the same artist, Miguel Capera, from Spaniard and Mestiza, Castiza, which he painted in 1763. The painting, like the previous painting, is a family portrait of a Spanish father and a mestiza, which is a Spaniard and Indian, mother with their child. According to Google Arts and Culture, this is a depiction of a family where the father, mother, and child are identified by inscriptions which make reference to their cross-beating from their various native European and African ethnic branches. So we see more racial mixing with the mother since she is mestiza. The wardrobe is something to note with this family. They are seen wearing clothing belonging to a higher social class, which we can see with the suit that the father is wearing and the dress that the mother is wearing. In Casta paintings, the viewer is able to identify the family's social status with the attire that is worn as well as the activities they are seen doing. The interesting thing about Casta paintings is how the viewer is able to see racial diversity and how it correlates to their social status. As stated in the journal American Anthropologist, throughout the century, over 100 sets of paintings were made for the consumption of elites in peninsular Spain who harbored anxiety over the New World's readiness to blend their races, African, Spanish, and Indian. The elites began to fear becoming a minority due to the racial mixing occurring. The diverse population recognized their diversity and were able to have control over the system because they were able to have structure through the system. Gossip paintings showed diversity as well as social status, and I think that's why they are recognizable 
and an important aspect in art history.